Good morning, everyone. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and this week I want to show you guys a workaround for using glyphs and extras with your fonts in the Design Space app. Uh, a lot of users have been mentioning that since the latest update, the Unicode app no longer works in conjunction with the Design Space app to have the glyphs come over into um, your fonts. So we're going to be using the Fonto app. Uh, it's a little bit of a workaround, but it's actually a lot better. So we have this Fonto app right here, this red one. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna click the camera button down here in the center, and we're going to select plain image. We're going to go ahead and just select the white. Um, you can change the color here, make sure it says white. We're going to apply it. And then you're going to click this little box here with the arrow coming out of it, the top right of this screen here. And we're going to select Use. Okay. If we click on it, it will give us the option to add text. So I'm going to just type in Welcome. Okay. I already have the Samantha font selected. Um, from doing this previously. So if not, you click the font here, you go down through your fonts and you select it. I have Samantha selected, so we're all set. And we're going to click done. We're going to go over here and you can um, make this bigger. You can select size, make it bigger. Um, it's up to you. You can change the text. Um, you can change the font as you go along. It's up to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go over to the Unicode app I am going to, and if you've never used this before, I have a video on it, but I'm going to just go over this quickly. I'm going to go over to Browse Fonts. I'm going to go down to the Samantha font. Uh, here we go. I'm going to find an E because I'm, um, and I'm going to find an uppercase W for us. I'll change that first. So I clicked the one I want. I clicked this little box with the arrow coming out of it here and I select copy. We are going to go back to the Fonto app and we're going to click on the text option here. And we will go ahead and just select that W and we'll paste. So if we select back, it's going to connect it. Now we'll go here. We can delete this E and we're going to go back to the Unicode app and we are going to go down and find a lowercase E. Uh, this works for me just quickly. Again, we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to the Fonto app and we're going to paste it. Now you see there's a little bit of a gap there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and backspace and we're going to select done. So now you see that um, all of our glyphs are in and it's great because the letters are already connecting, which it doesn't do in design space. So that's a really nice feature to have. Okay. And now we are going to go to the bottom right hand corner with the little box with the uh, arrow coming out of it and we are going to save image then it's saved successfully so we're going to go over to the design space app we are going to select upload we're going to select from photo library it's going to bring up my camera roll and i'm going to select the one that i just did so i'm going to remove all of the space that i don't want here and we are going to zoom in. You just use your two fingers to zoom in and out. Get all of that white space, all that negative space out. We are going to then select next. And you can see it looks pretty smooth here, but if you'd like, you can despeckle or choose the smooth option and add that to your um, design. Um, just be careful of how it shapes your letters. Sometimes it gives them a funky look. And then you can go to next, save it as a cut image. We will save that. And then we can insert it and use it. And I like this option better because it already connects your letter. So it even saves you some time, even though it seems like...